Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Menner. Welcome back to Fox 23 News. USM dropped the ball against North Texas on Saturday, falling to the mean green in a 30-7 loss. The Golden Eagles were dominated in just about every statistical category, but one thing to note from the game is that quarterback Quadra Griggs did get a chance to step on the field. Today, Coach Jay Hobson explained an emotional decision he had to make on the sideline. You know, I'm going to probably open up with you here and tell you something. I, you know, it, that Quadra has been through a lot, and before we played, you know, just so you know, his mother passed away Saturday morning. And that's tough on a young man. It's tough, and we, were no, we weren't, and I wanted to give the young man an opportunity to get in and play. Coach Hobson said the team learned about the passing of Griggs' mother around 9.30 that morning. And with Saturday's loss, the Golden Eagles dropped to fifth in the conference. Well, so far this season, SEC teams have been a problem for Ole Miss. The Rebels owned a perfect 4-0 record against non-conference opponents and were 0-2 against SEC teams. Granted, those two losses came to top five teams in Alabama and LSU. But on Saturday night, it looked like another SEC team would walk all over the Rebels in what was a rainy night in Little Rock. Ole Miss fell behind by 17 points late in the second quarter before the Rebels slowly chipped their way back into the game. Down 30-17 to in the third, and Ta'amu finds Octavius Cooley, who hugs that sideline all the way to the end zone. It was his first career touchdown, and the Rebels would trail by just six points. And with under one minute left, Scotty Phillips doing it all, punches it in for a five-yard touchdown as Ole Miss takes the lead and wins it 37-33 in the comeback victory. And of course, Jordan Tamu again phenomenal in this one, throwing two touchdowns for 387 yards and adding one on the ground in the Rebels' first SEC victory of 2018. I, I was telling my own line, it's only 97 yards and um, we've done this before and um, we've been in this situation and let's just go in there and play our game and uh, let's, put up, let's, put up, um, let's put up a score. Um, I was calm. Um, I blocked out the noise. Um, our whole the, in the huddle, everyone was calm. Everyone was everyone knew who was going to win, and everyone knew that we were really going to drive down. And uh, everyone was excited and pumped. And the coach said we just needed to get to the 25, and that's where Luke can kick it. And uh, our goal was that. And if we score, it's a plus. Well, just two days out from the start of the regular season, and the Pelicans have a new addition. The Pels acquiring veteran forward Wesley Johnson from the Clippers for backup center Alexis Agensa. The 31-year-old Johnson averaged 5.5 points, 3 rebounds for L.A. last season, and will hopefully add some depth to the bench, which is where New Orleans has been lacking. Johnson was picked fourth overall in the 2010 NBA draft by Minnesota, and he's in the final season of a three-year contract. Agenza had struggled with injuries with the Pelicans the last few seasons. And in other news, the Atlanta Braves have given a two-year contract extension to manager Brian Snicker after he led the team to their first playoff berth since 2013. The deal will keep him in Atlanta through 2021 with a club option. Snicker was appointed interim manager in May of 2016 and will be heading into his third full season as the team's skipper, but his 43rd with the organization. He's totaled the 221 to 227 record, but as we saw this year, the Braves had quite the turnaround after clinching the division title. Snicker turned 63 on Wednesday. 43 <laughs> years with the Braves organization. He stuck around through it all. This was probably one of his favorite years with the team so far. Oh, I think so. Yeah, it was a great season. Or it could or have been the, the World Series in the late yeah, I wasn't born then, so I don't count it, Mark. I understand. But in recent years. 2000, yeah, recent years. 2005, when they were really big. I know you weren't born then. I was 10. Be nice to her. Goodness. <laughs>